how that flows. Wind it back up. All right, that's pretty too. How was the Pinewood Derby for you guys? Yeah. Woo! Yeah? I'm glad we were all able to get together for it. Back up. You got socially distanced still, okay? Even though we're outside. All right, so we're going to start off our awards here. And we're going to start off with the most creative category, okay? We have two, uh, we did two sets of voting, right? We did for the lions and tigers, and then we did for our, um, our older scouts. So, in our lions and tigers bracket, our most creative car was car number 19, Grant. Congratulations, okay. <laughs> All right, and for our older bracket, most creative goes to car number two. Great job first for the first time with Derby. All right. All right. Second place goes to Jude. Where's Jude? All right, Jude. Second place, buddy. Good work with your green machine. And first place, again, you're going to, you're not, someone doesn't have enough hands here, is going to be Grant, number 19. All right, Grant, congratulations. All right, now, it was a tight competition in the next bracket. There was a lot of fast cars. We had to look across both heats and stuff like that. There was uh, some really, really close timings. It was down to one hundredths of a second differences between some of the places. But third place goes to my friend Hamish. David, come on over here, buddy. There you go, buddy. Congratulations. Second place goes to Reed. Where's Reed? All right. And first place, where's our good pal Frankie? Frankie! Frankie! That car is one fast car, buddy. I think it's that. I think it's that logo there, the Firebird. That's what makes it so fast. Good work. Nice. All right, congratulations to all of our racers. So I do know that some people might have some other uh, commitments and stuff like that. But if uh, if you don't have some place that you need to be, you know, right right away, uh, I would encourage all of you to stay for maybe. You, a little bit longer because in 10 minutes we're going to start the crossover ceremony to celebrate our Weeblos 2 Arrow of Light Scouts as they cross over to Scouts BSA. This Pinewood Derby is the end of their Cub Scout journey, but the beginning of their, their journey into the larger world of scouting and towards their Trail to Eagle. So it's a big, big thing. I, I would hope all of us, can, or as many of us as possible, can stay to celebrate with them. But we'll just gonna take a few minutes to kind of get ourselves situated, and we'll be trying to start that right about 12 even. So, hi, what's your name? Sarah. And what are you doing here, Sharon? Uh, I am the den leader for the Weebelows advancing over to Boy Scouts doing their oh. Arrow of Light ceremony. Now, how long have you been doing this now, Sharon? <sighs> Four years? Does that sound right? Four years? Oh, okay. And uh, you've had enough that you did what you had to do? <laughs> uh, we help them organize what they're doing and reach all their milestone goals they have to achieve to advance year over year. Good, good. Nice talking to you today, Sharon. You too. Thank you. Okay. Today we are here to celebrate the members of Den 3, also known as the Dragon Forge Patrol who have earned the highest achievement in Cub Scouting, the Arrow of Light Award, and those who are crossing over into Scouts BSA. Parents play a vital role in Cub Scouting. 
and have helped your sons reach this milestone. So it is fitting that you are recognized as part of this ceremony as well. Parents, please lead your Weeblo Scouts to their Weeblo's Den leader. As a Cub Scout, you joined together as a den and became members of our packs. As a Cub Scout, you have been guided through the Cub Scout trail with the help of many Akelas, your parents, your den leaders, pack leaders, and many others. Soon, when you become a Boy Scout, you will find that while there are still many people willing to help you, you take on more and more responsibility for blazing your own trail to Eagle Scout. Arnav Jain, Connor Shivrick, Henry Lotvis, Dominic Chopur, and Nicholas Carey. You have been called before the pack because you have satisfied the requirements for Cub Scout's highest rank, the Arrow of Light. This distinguished award is the only award earned during Cub Scouting that you may continue to wear as a Boy Scout and eventually as a Scout Leader. The Arrow of Light represents everything you have learned in your years of Cub Scouting and your promise to use what you have learned as you move ahead into Boy Scouts. Each of the four colors you see before you are a reminder that you should carry these colors with you as you cross over. The first band of color is blue to remind you of the lessons you learned as a Cub Scout. You might move your glasses there just a smidge, but. Blue represents the spirit of Cub Scouting. The promise of giving goodwill and doing your best. Do you promise to fulfill the Cub Scout promise and the Cub Scout motto, do your best, when you receive the Arrow of Light badge? Yes. 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 The Weeblo Scouts have faithfully promised always to keep the spirit of Cub Scouting. As their parents, do you also promise to continue to help your Scout in his Scouting adventures? We do. The second band of color, white, represents the Scout Law. Youth and adult leaders will cheerfully show you the skills you need, but it will be up to you to live up to the 12 points of the Scout Law. Every day, you will be faced with choices to make, decisions, and at all times, the trail, and at times, the trail may seem most difficult to follow. Make your choices by always remembering the Scout Law. In all that you do, do you promise to forever be trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent? The third band of color, yellow, stands for the arrow of light. Within the teepees of many Native American braves, the arrow of light it has an honored place. Its shaft is straight and narrow, just as is the path that you scouts should follow throughout your life. It tips, points the way, the way to success in all that you do. It is pointing to the right, a symbol that nothing should be left undone. 
if it is within your power to do it and see that it is done. And lastly, it is the symbol of the seven rays of the sun, one for each day of the week. This is to remind you that every day is a new day, a day to do your best in everything. Each boy has blazed his own trail towards the Arrow of Light Award. And now the Arrow of Light will help them remember their promise to keep the spirit of Cub Scouting alive. Do you promise to let its light shine forth from you, to set an example for others to follow in your footsteps, to set your eye on the eagle and never to waver? And I, Akela, have the distinct honor to say you are now full-fledged Arrow of Light holders. I will hand you your awards and please, everyone, please join me in congratulating these scouts on their achievement. The last candle, and the last band of color, is green. It symbolizes the beginning of your journey towards Eagle as a Boy Scout. As we apply the paint on each of you, prepare yourselves no longer to be known as a Weebless Scout, but from this day forward, as a member of Scouts BSA. Your den leader will now lead you to the bridge that connects Cub Scouting with Boy Scouting. As your name is called, cross over the bridge where Boy Scouts will be waiting to welcome you into their troop and present you with the neckerchiefs you have earned through your diligence as a Weeblo Scout. Connor Schifrin. <clears throat> Henry Lotmus. Henry, 1775. All right. Yep. Come over here. All right. So, this symbolizes your. Watching you guys grow from young tigers in first grade. I have seen you learn so many things. I have seen you guys, how excited you are. I have seen how passionate you are about scouts. I am very proud to see all of you crossing over. And I'm most proud of what I've seen in the last year. As things got very hard to do scouting the way we always knew how to do it. And as we found ways to have to, to work virtually. And as you guys started learning about what it meant to be a Scouts BSA and rather than a Cub and coming up with your own ideas and organizing and starting to run your own patrol meetings. I just can't, I can't imagine having to have done that in this type of environment when I was your age. And so I am deeply appreciative that I have gotten to be a part of your journey so far. And I look forward to all five of you having great success as you blaze your trail towards the Eagle. Any, are there any words from our, our, our
15 Scoutmasters that they would like to pass along to our, our newest Sounds members? Like, sir. Sure. Uh, so to all of you guys, welcome. Welcome to uh, the Scouting Adventure. Uh, that is the reason that uh, you join Scouts, I imagine, is that you are seeking some adventure and uh, we aim to provide that for you. Or shall I say, we aim to teach you to provide it for yourselves. That's our goal. In Boy Scouting, it's considerably different than in Cub Scouting, where you have adult den leaders. In Boy Scouting, you have youth patrol leaders, and some of them are here. These, these gentlemen will be your guides and uh, teach you the skills and, um, and things you need to know along the way. So, welcome, and we are very excited to uh, have you join the adventure. Wade, do you have anything? I, I, I think you, you, you said it actually perfectly. You're on your road to Eagle right now. Um, and again, Boy Scouts provides you with many great skills. And as Glenn had said that um, what we're really looking at here is we're looking at boy-led, patrol-led um, experiences. Boy Scouts is, is your transition from life skills to leadership. And this is a, you know, a great opportunity for you to really learn your leadership skills and really succeed in life. So. Little gentlemen, we're happy to have you guys. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that you decided to continue into Boy Scouting. And we're looking forward to lots of really great experiences, not only in advancement, but also for our camping trips and all sorts of other um, outdoor experiences that we have. So, congratulations. This concludes our ceremony. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today to celebrate our Arrow of Light recipients and, uh, and Natick's newest members of Scouts BSA. Congratulations. Thank you for seeing you. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations.